hey y'all y'all been on me wanting to see a live video so here i am in florida i just got up um, we are going to make some breakfast and i'm going to make enough bacon that me and chris can have a blt for lunch so when i make breakfast the very first thing i do every time is i put on the bacon i'm going to video this upright so that y'all can see it on your phones because i know a lot of y'all watch me on your telephone and I know this view is good for a telephone. I never do it because I try to post it to, um, you know, I try to post it so that y'all can watch it on your TV. But so be it. Today I'm going to let it be a phone video. How's that? It's something different, right? And yes, I just woke up. I look like it, don't I? But y'all been on me about this. So I thought, hey, I'll let them watch me make breakfast. Even if you've seen me make breakfast a million times, right? So I've got my, down here at the beach, we have electric stove instead of gas, which is so different than gas. So I've got it on number five, and this is Smithfield filled bacon I got down at the Dollar General. And I am going to go ahead and start my bacon while um, we mix up some biscuits, okay? And we're just going to make our biscuits in my little toaster oven like I always do. Or I could put them in the air fryer, either one. It's faster, um, if you're wanting to know why, than turning on this big oven. It's cold in here this morning. It's 61 degrees in the trailer. And yesterday when we got up here, y'all just go ahead to bear with me down here because I got my little, I got my little stand. And I didn't clean up anything before I put y'all on here, so just forgive my mess. We cleaned the fish last night, so I got out my lemon soap. Wait a minute. Why aren't you squirting for me, lemon? Well, for heaven's sake. Hey, you need it. Come out. We'll just pour some in here. Make some dish water. This morning. How's that? Okay. You can't hardly cook without dishwater. Now I'm gonna back y'all up and we're gonna make some biscuits. Let's see. Let's see. Chris is gonna come in here and go, you're making a video in your gown. I'm gonna be like, yeah. Um they're watching this live this morning, make Why biscuits. You turn I told them I would let it be uh, for their phone view for a change. Oh. See, Chris noticed first off, didn't he? I got on some sweatpants under this because it's so cold in here, y'all. Uh, let me get me a bowl. I'll turn this fan on low. Come right here. Now. I got some biscuit mix. I still got some biscuit mix down here, so we're going to use it this morning. And you know what? If I make enough biscuits and we don't eat them, uh, what I might do is make Granny's banana, banana, Lord of mercy, Granny's bread pudding for y'all later. That'd be good, wouldn't it? So let me get me out of pork. And I got some whole buttermilk down here. The brand down here, this is Dairy Fresh. They have Barber and Dairy Fresh down here. So when you're using the Southern Biscuit Mix, all you do is add your buttermilk, which is so easy, right? So I just add enough buttermilk until I think I can make a biscuit.
So we're going to use that. You want me to make a lot of biscuits so we can make Granny's banana bread pudding? Not banana bread pudding, but just bread pudding with biscuits. All right, I'm going to use all of this, y'all, so that we can make some bread pudding later tonight. Chris, will you look at their comments in case they have a question? And then I'm going to turn this off so I can see my view. That's a lot of biscuit. Yum, yum. Let's put a little Crisco on this pan. This is all my biscuit mix I used, so I'm going to put this back down in the bottom.
flip our bacon. Because I'm letting it burn. Do what? I know, but I don't want to wait on it until you guys. I'm not supposed to be using this, so I've got to very lightly pick this up and turn it over. Okay? This is one of them skillets, y'all, that we love so much that we got down at Marshall's. There's a Marshall's down here, Chris. Where did we see a Marshall's? Because that's where we got the skillet. Or did I bring this from home? Um, I will move y'all. Now, here we go. It looks pretty good. It don't look burnt. It, it's pretty golden looking. I don't know a lot of y'all wonder why I don't put bacon in the oven or all that stuff, but I will tell you, to me, it tastes better when you make it in a skillet. I've done it, but I just don't think it tastes as good. Is there a Yes, I did put bacon in my air fryer, and it was okay, but like I said, I just said, I like bacon in a skillet. It just tastes better to me. It just does. Now, while we're waiting on this bacon, um, I'm going to turn it down one notch. We're going to make a few grits in this, uh, in the microwave, okay? I don't have a batter bowl. I do have a batter bowl. All right, y'all, I'm just going to let y'all watch me for a second. In which one? This one? Yeah. Okay. Hey. Oh, you got a Y'all need one of these. You can get them for around $10 at Walmart. later once it warms up a little bit it's about 50 degrees out there right now and I ain't gonna fish when it's 50 degrees I just pour like a little bit for each person <laughs> and then I use um, a little bit of meal now this is two percent normally we have skim at home so I'll put in a little meal and then a little bit of water today because it's not skim And 
and then we put it in the microwave. So let me back y'all up, y'all just watch me for a second. Woo! All right, so we're gonna put a little water in it. Stir it up. And get it in the microwave for about three or four minutes. I'm not quite way over here, y'all. Three minutes. <sighs> Chris is watching the comments if y'all want to ask anything. Okay. Now, really, all we got left is uh, finishing up the bacon, making some eggs, and uh, mess right here for a second. Whoa, I'm about to lose my stand. Alright, I'll just keep this in here. Start to rise. They're already rising. I'll let y'all see them in a second. First, I'm going to clean this off. I just use this. Somebody's I did not need them too much. Y'all have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I did not need them too much. It doesn't hurt to need a biscuit. Matter of fact, it makes it better. A lot of y'all think that you shouldn't need it or it's going to make it tough and then it doesn't rise good, okay? You have to knead it at least seven or eight times to get it to make a pretty fluffy tall biscuit, okay? Andy, Archibald said it's the best thing you've ever heard of Rick's in the microwave. <laughs> um, that's why I use my batter bowl because grits expand. She's right, they do expand. Um, so you've got to have a batter bowl. Don't try to cook them or oatmeal without a batter bowl in the microwave. Okay? But oh my gosh, are they delicious out of the microwave? They get so creamy and delicious. Believe it or not. We are fishing on the bay for redfish and uh, speckled sea trout in the bay. I like speckled sea trout the best. We caught one last night and I collected it. And it's going to be really good. Clean them, I lay them, and I put them in water. That's the sea trout we caught last night. We we might do that, Moana. If you want us to, why not? Look at all this grease from a pound of bacon. Now look, you're not supposed to use a fork with this pan, so I'm barely letting it touch the bottom of it. I promise. I'm not scraping it. Now let's check on our grits. Betty Flask asked if you ever make a fish grits for breakfast. No, I don't. I'm not crazy about fish for breakfast. Okay. It just it makes it taste better. Oh, the fish, 
the reason I put water over it is because if for some reason, especially like with redfish, it has any blood or anything in it, it pulls it out and it makes it just taste delicious, light and flaky. Okay, here's our grits. You can tell that they need to cook just a little bit more. We're going to put them on a couple more minutes. Make sure you stir them up good because if you don't, they'll clump together. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Y'all, that's how I make my banana pudding. That's how I make greenish chocolate pie. I make lemon curd in it. I just make all kind of stuff in the microwave with that batter bowl. I make grits in it. It is wonderful. Buy you one. You will be so glad. It is, it is something that I use in the kitchen and my kids use regularly. Okay? Let me check on these biscuits. They look like they're not brown. I usually flip them around, y'all. Now, do those look light, light and flaky to you? Because they are. <laughs> let me turn them around. I'm going to let them finish getting brown on the other side. Okay, you're not quite done, Dolly. Keep cooking. Keep cooking. And I'm going to bring my grits right here and let y'all see them. This bacon's about done. Amy said she got one of those bowls for your Amazon. Oh, they're wonderful. Now, this one came from Walmart. Uh, and, of course, the one I got home at home is a pampered chef. And there ain't no, you know, the Walmart one's really cheap, so get it. Because, of course, they work just just the same, okay? This is burning up. I'm going to turn it down for all. I'm going to take these out. These can be for our BLT today. Okay. Look at all that grease. We're going to make eggs in that in a minute. But I'm going to pour that grease off. Now, let me sh let y'all see. Somebody's calling. Um, let me let y'all see in the batter, in the grit mold. Now, at this point, I add my, and I know all, everybody don't like it. If you don't like it, don't act like it don't taste good for me because this is what I like. I put a little salt in it. Some pepper. Oh, the other day somebody said their salt was sticking together in their salt box, and I told them I didn't know what to do. And then y'all told me that if she would tie up some rice and a little piece of cloth, like cheesecloth or something, and put down in that little salt box, uh, then it would keep the salt from sticking together. And I guess she could. The only thing you can't throw rice down in there just plain because you grab salt out of a salt box, and then you'd be putting rice in your whatever you were cooking. But Anyway, now once they come out, of course, as soon as they start cooling off, they get thicker. So I add a little milk. Believe it or not, I put salt and pepper and sugar in there. And of course, we're going to put some butter in there. Angel Collins asking how long you cook the grits for. 
I could come three minutes, stir them. Could come about two more minutes. But now if you're making a bunch of grits for a bunch of people, you know, you might want to cook them a couple more minutes. The main thing is that you get it out and you stir it so that um, if you need to add a little milk to it, you can. Because if you don't, they'll all stick and clump together and then it's hard to get them creamy again. That makes sense. Now we're going to put just a little bit of milk in them because you want creamy grits, not stiff, thick grits. And of course, if you were making grits for like shrimp and grits, instead of putting the sugar in there, you would put cheese in there and it would be good. I remember when I first started this channel, a good friend of mine, uh, she's probably in her 70s, uh, saw me make grits in the microwave, and she just was so happy about it. Look at it, y'all. They're so nice and creamy. And she said, oh, my gosh, they're so delicious. And I've never made them that way. And she was, that was one of the her favorite. Lots of times, uh, the women that watch my channel... The ones that are older and really know how to cook good um, love me using the microwave. They've never used the microwave for grits or puddings or curds. Um, and they really, really love that shortcut. Especially the ones that stand there forever to make, you know, like that granny chocolate pie and stuff. You know? So let's rinse this off and then I'm going to get the grits out. And y'all can see. The one that got, got her air fryer yesterday. Yes. She said the first thing she's going to make is peach cobbler. Good, Luana. Luana got the air fryer yesterday. And that peach cobbler was so good. Wasn't it, Chris? Yeah. Chris said he didn't too much care for the pecans, but I sure did. Uh, I loved them. In it. I thought they were delish. So it's up to you. But now several people have already made it and said it was delicious. We're about to get the biscuits out. I'm going to put them on this board. And then we're going to serve breakfast right here. And then later on this evening, we'll make some bread pudding and let y'all watch how my granny made bread pudding. Because we're going to have extra biscuits. That'll be our dessert tonight. Okay. So we've got grits in our batter bowl. Let's put the bacon in this. We've got bacon. Oh, it's time to make eggs. Biscuits. This lady on here, she's about five months ago. She started. She saw. She never made biscuits. Never made homemade. Yeah. And so she watched three of your videos, watching them three different ways, and she made them. And she made them for her eighty-two-year-old parents, and they loved them. Really? So you need to tell. Them. What's her name? Uh, Diane Roser. Diane, great job making your biscuits. Yes, there's nothing like a good biscuit. That's for sure. Now, I always flip mine upside down when they come out. Um, we're going to make an egg right quick. I guess I'll just scramble it. I mean, fry it so that Chris can have an over easy egg this morning. We can use that biscuit in the bread pudding. But if for, for those of y'all who are ready to sign off and want to see if the biscuits are fluffy, I'm going to show them to you up close. There they are. Yes, I needed them that much, but I'm telling you, it actually makes them rise better, and um, they're very fluffy and absolutely delicious. Matter of fact, I think I'll put some butter in this one. Uh, we got some cane syrup. I bought some apple butter, and uh, it is so good. Do you want me to butter you one, Chris, or not? He don't really eat butter biscuits like I do. 
Um, let's get over here and make some eggs, and then we can have our breakfast. I think I'll put the lid on that batter bowl so that those grits don't get cold. It comes with a lid, jaw, and it comes in handy. Betty Glass asked, have you ever made canned homemade cinnamon apples? Um, got some somewhere in Florida. Like no, them. but I guarantee you it'd be easy, easy to do. They don't know what you're saying. Oh, she wants to know if I've ever made canned uh, cinnamon apples, and I said no, but it, I'm sure it'd be very, very easy to do. Um, the only thing is, is an apple does not have a lot of pectin in it, so you would have to add something to get it to, um, no, I guess you wouldn't have to do that because it's not jelly. Never mind. Um, all right, let's pour this off. Pour off our grease. You cannot eat all this grease. I'll leave a little bit in the bottom just for taste today, just for fun. Just for fun. And um, get out a couple of eggs. Let me turn this eye back on. See, I'm used to I'm used to gas. So when I turn on the eye, it's instant heat. With electric, oh, drives me nuts. I have to wait on it. Now, I never buy Eglin's Best eggs. Gosh, people are trying to call me this morning. I never buy Eglin's Best eggs, never, so don't think it's a regular for me. But they had a coupon if you got two avocados and a loaf of the new uh, multigrain bread by Nature's Own. And it is so good. That if you got two avocados and a loaf of this bread, you got two dollars off of these eggs. So I only had to spend like 50 cents on the eggs. That's why I got them. Normally, I just buy what's on sale. I mean, whatever's cheapest. If medium's cheaper, large is cheaper. If extra large is cheaper. Lots of times you can get extra large eggs for the price um, of regular eggs. Or, you know, like, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I guess you do. We eat a ton of eggs. Donna Woodward says she used the batter bowl to make the chocolate pie last week and then they liked it so much so I made another one yesterday. Donna? Yeah. What's her last name? Woodward. Donna Woodward said she got the batter bowl, y'all, and she made the chocolate pie. And they liked it so much they made another one already. Y'all, I'm going to tell you, that batter bowl is the bomb to make puddings to make your banana pudding in to make your chocolate pie in uh, to make your grits in to make your oatmeal in it can rise up in there and not bubble over in the microwave it is one of the best ten dollars you'll spend i think that batter bowl is about ten dollars at walmart if you want to get it through my website uh, go to color valley cooks kitchen links and i don't think it's much more than it's delivered to your door so Y'all do that. You want two eggs, baby? Yeah. Somebody asked why you turned your biscuits upside down. I turn the biscuits upside down so that they don't sweat on the bottom and get soggy. It's just what my granny always did, so I do it too. And it, it does make them uh, nice and crunchy and keeps them from getting soggy. We got a lot of people watching this morning. Why don't y'all hit the share button? That would be even better. I yeah, wonder if uh, Sonya's on here. Lisa McFedridge said that she sent you something that's supposed to be there tomorrow, but we're not at home. Our kids are there, so they can get it. You don't have to repeat it. Miss Lisa. Miss Lisa? Her name's Lisa. She sent you something. You need to tell them. Okay, Lisa. We'll be able to get it. Um, if you send it to the post office box, of course, they'll hold it anyway. Um, so don't worry. We'll, we'll get it when we get home and we'll, I'm excited that you sent us something. Hey y'all, if y'all hit that share button, more people will learn about Color Valley Cooks and learn how to make a decent biscuit, right? Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Color Valley Cooks and we cook Southern food. I'm from Georgia, but right now we're in Pensacola, Florida in our little trailer. We come down here and we go fishing and we got up early and we made some breakfast and later on we're going to make some 
uh, of my granny's bread pudding, old fashioned, just plain old. It's plain and old fashioned bread pudding, okay? With our biscuits that we made this morning because I made too many for just me and Chris, okay? These are beautiful biscuits. And if you want to use the, the biscuit mix, it's even easier to make biscuits, but please don't buy Bisquick, whatever you do. Uh, buy Southern Biscuit Mix, and if you cannot find Southern Biscuit Mix, it's normally, believe it or not, on the bottom shelf of every grocery store. And it's not where the flour is, it's where the biscuit mixes are. Uh, it's in a red and white bag, about a four pound bag. And if you can't get it, then go on YouTube and watch my page, watch my YouTube, and learn how to make your own biscuit mix um, because it's easy and it makes beautiful biscuits. I've had quite a few people make that biscuit mix and send me pictures of their biscuits and they're just beautiful. I'm overcooking Chris's egg. <laughs> what you get when you got electric. And I bust mine, y'all, because I don't like that old nasty yellow like he does. We're not in a camper. We're in a trailer. A mobile home. Let's get Chris's off. Woo, about busted that one, y'all. Christopher, it's time for you to eat, baby. So I'll let my eggs sit here a little bit longer, and then I'm going to let y'all watch Chris make his plate. And let's see if these grits are still creamy after we went over there and cooked um, some more stuff. Now the longer uh, grits sit, the thicker they get. So lots of times you do have to add a little bit of milk to them to keep them creamy. See, they've already started thickening up. When I put grits on the plate, I don't like them like that. I like them to be creamy. Give me that milk, baby. So before you serve them, make sure that they're creamy, okay? Don't give somebody some stiff grits. Now they're creamy. Nice creamy grits. A beautiful biscuit. And some bacon. Delicious breakfast. Fig preserves. And Chris has got fig preserves. He bought. Braswells, is that what brand you got, Chris? Yeah, Braswell. Braswell, uh, they come out of Georgia, don't they? Uh, yeah, I think they come from. Uh, we really like their jelly. You're not gonna let them say it. Mm -hmm. It'll be backwards, but it don't matter. It's from uh, somewhere in Georgia. Yeah, Statesboro. Statesboro, Georgia. They make really good jelly. Uh, this is their fig preserves, and I got. Uh, let me show y'all what I got. I got Dickinson's, and it comes out of California, believe it or not, but this is country apple butter. Y'all, it is so good. It tastes more like apples than spices. It is just delicious. I'll let you see it. So if you want some good apple butter, you don't want to make it. And you don't want it to taste, you know, so strong with spices that you can't taste the apples. Oh, this is a soup spoon. I can't get that down in there. Then you need to uh, get you some of this. It tastes like cooked apples. You got it. No, you got it. Mm, it is so good. I got this. They sell this just about everywhere. Y'all can find this just about everywhere. It's Dickinson's. Dickinson's. Uh, yeah. Anyway, it sure does make for a good uh, butter biscuit. Like, here's my butter biscuit. Put it on here. 
See? Y'all, it is so good. Well, I guess we're going to sign off and eat our delicious hot breakfast. Thanks for watching Color Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Mmm. Mmm. If you're new to my channel, I talk a lot, but it's okay. And if you go on YouTube and type in Color Valley Cooks, we have over 540 videos for you to watch. Southern cooking tutorials. Learn how to cook like your mama did. Bye, y'all.